All right, let's uh, check in with um, St. Louis. No, let's check in with St. Louis's own uh, Scott Crothers. Scott, are you there? I'm, I'm here. Uh, good morning, McGraw. We had a good little run yet yesterday, didn't we? Uh, we did. Uh, the Dow was up 55 points to 26,829. Uh, stocks rose with Treasury yields hitting multi-year highs after upbeat economic data point to another rate hike, pushing financial shares up. Uh, the dollar advanced against a basket of major currencies while gold dipped and oil rose. So pretty good day yesterday. All right. We will, uh, we will take it. Each and every day I check uh, the stocks on my phone for you, and then they got a new uh, – I downloaded the new version, and it's all funky now on me. So give me a second here. Uh, what are we hearing from Cadillac? Cadillac, this is kind of, a, uh, kind of a fun story. Cadillac outscored Tesla in a new ranking of partially automated driving systems. Uh, the systems were tested by Consumer Reports and released today. The systems typically use cameras, radar, and other sensors, as well as mapping data to monitor location and traffic data. And Cadillac actually came out on top. Wow, how about that? All right. That's kind of, you know, wouldn't expect that. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, old is new yeah. again. Yeah, uh, Jewel J U U L. What's going on there? Right, J U L Labs. You know that's the e-cigarette maker, and they filed a patent infringement complaint in the U.S. and Europe against what it says are copycat rivals. Jewel, which controls nearly seventy-five percent of the U.S. e-cigarette market, filed a complaint with the U.S. International Trade Commission, alleging that over fifty entities sell products using their patented technology. And, you know, this is, you know, the jewels uh, are basically almost like an epidemic in high schools right now. You've, you've heard a little yeah. bit of stories about that. Yeah, so. yeah. No, that's a, yeah, those e-cigarettes are a nightmare. Um, and then finally, the, what's the Smith Group? The Smith Group, you know, the Smith Group, it's a world leader in practical application of advanced technologies. And they are to buy United Flexible Inc. for $345 million. Uh, United Flexible is a U.S.-based maker of parts for aircraft engines. Uh, United Flexible is expected to generate $157 million in sales and $32 million in earnings uh, for 2018. And uh, Smith Group is buying them. So All right. There, there you go. go. Uh, markets today after that nice little run yesterday. Uh, today the futures look down 79 this morning. We expect to get earnings from Costco and Constellation Brands as well as initial claims for state unemployment benefits and factory goods orders. So we'll see how those things come out and see how they move the markets. Scott Crothers, have yourself a good day. We will uh, talk to you tomorrow. Sounds good. Thank